record button. All right. So, when we last gathered, the faded hour, the faded day, finally arrived. After the party received the final blessing from Alexander and his monarchs, they made their way back to the city in order to relay their newfound information and their plans to their allies. However, unfortunately, when they did return, they happened upon a scenario that proved that their oppressors, their opposers, if you will, have grown wildly desperate and are willing to do everything within their power to snuff them out. And as such, the allies have been attacked one by one, starting with Cuban, to which the party very quickly and safely rescued. He then apprised them of the targeted assault taking place, and then they were sent over towards the hospital to assist Regis and his crew. And when that threat was subdued and everyone had an opportunity to regroup and assess the problem before them and go about how their trial was going to take place. Everyone made up their minds and Yashua put his foot down and made sure to establish that he and by proxy of the party will kill Vaughn as they are threat number one to not just the city but this entire dimension as a whole seeing as Vaughn has gone out of his way to make a deal a pact if you will with Shinryu because Shinryu promised him power beyond his wildest dreams if he would assist him in his dimensional conquest and as such when the group made it to the trial area, the judgment zone. They very, very quickly realized that the moment they set foot in the room, everything was already stacked against them. They were surrounded by traps. Vaughn was using a memory manipulation magic in order to display <laughs> past events that the party seemingly did. However, due to very, very quick thinking from Henry and Diablo's behalf, Diablo's managed to copy the spell that Vaughn was using to display falsities to not only just them in the room, but everyone else that the event was being broadcasted to in order to display Henry's memories of what actually happened. And as the party continued to lay on to Vaughn about his pathetic excuses and lies and summoning forth the dead to put forth his claims and those that Vaughn had forced into taking his side lest they suffer unjust punishment began to ask questions. Vaughn very quickly realized that he no longer had any limbs, any footing to stand on, and as such, skipped several steps in his pre-established plan, and he took the form of a dragon, and in Henry's rage, he began tearing out page after page after page of Diablos' spell book and wound up casting a combination of not only meteor but comet and as the orbs battered and banged themselves against Vaughn's shield by the time it finally broke the room that they were in began to rise into the air almost as if it were an arena like setting and when Vaughn's transformation was complete the only thing left standing before them was the empty space, the ground below, the people below, and two very, very different forms of murderous intent. 
And from there is where our story and the final battle of Arc 3 will begin. And as for the new and likely one-time-only gameplay introduction for this battle and this battle alone, every single ally that the party has met and made friends with will be able to assist them in this battle in the form of synergy attacks at the cost of limit break energy being 50 points for level 1, 150 points for level 2, and 400 for level 3, they will be able to summon forth an ally of their choosing to assist them in any way with an attack or command that they have available to them. The only stipulation is that a level 1 call has a 1 turn cooldown, a level 2 call has level 2 cooldown, and level 3 call not only costs 400 points of unbreak energy, but the person who used that action will no longer be able to call that specific ally. So, as an example, if Yashua were to use a synergy call for Zero's level 3, Yashua would no longer be able to call a Zero fourth for the rest of the fight, but Dreva, Osiris, and Henry, they all could. Cool. And now, battle will commence. <clears throat> okay. Uh, turn rotations. Turn I don't know how fast this uh, dragon is. Well, as usual, the party will go first no matter what. But afterwards, it will be Vaughn, Yashua, Dreva, Henry, and Osiris. Okay. I scan around the arena. Literally, as you said, there is nothing between us now. Though I do have some concerns in the back of my head. Do keep in mind that everyone present in the arena are several hundred feet in the air above the city. Hmm. They're just floating around because they want to or they're floating around because the dragon did that? Uh, the the <clears throat> platform you are standing on is suspended in the air due to uh, due to Vaughn's power and because of Henry tearing Page of Diablo's book that also casted a levitation spell, which is why it was forcefully removed from the earth that it was in and is above the entire city. Nice job, Henry. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, um... As much as I would love to tear off that dragon's head, can't have any civilians and counselors dying on us. <clears throat> Henry, do you want to take a uh, aggro? So I could get some of these counselors out. I'm pretty sure I have full aggro. I'm right in his face. Well, yeah, that's why I'm asking. Yeah, that's fine. All right. I'll back you up as soon as I get uh, these counselors out. Uh, I'll spend my 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 entire turn trying to evacuate the counselors. Okay. Uh, 
due to due to you taking this action it is going to as you said take your whole turn getting the counselors out of here but it's also going to take you an entire turn to return to the battlefield that's fine all right <laughs> So you are taking everyone except basically the NPCs that that we have on the list that could drain us in battle. Why you take you taking them off the battlefield? Oh, you say everyone except the ones that can join us in battle. Yep. Okay. Because. Some of these are chancellors, other of these are um, uh, civilians or guards that work under them that don't know what the hell is going on and they're probably in shock and panic and are not fit to fight. So they're going to get themselves killed if they stay here. Right. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> I will remove their tokens from the map. So, I'm placing them where everyone is watching them, right? Mm -hmm. at, at the ground? Yep. Uh, do do keep in mind that uh, Vaughn's personal posse are also in the process of trying to force people to accept Vaughn's will. And uh, some some individuals are being attacked, as you see on your way back down to the surface. Ah. Uh. I'm going to have to intercept them in my next turn, then. Yeah, I'll do that. Well, on my next turn, instead of just coming back home, I will, I will eliminate them. All right. And be sure to actually get uh, the civilians that are watching uh, to back up a little bit, because, you know, the dragon... Okay. Last I checked, dragons are fucking dangerous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, so that's your turn. So now for Drava's turn. She is going to She's going to begin her actions by casting uh, Biopulse on Vaughn. Chemical Warfare. Followed immediately by Blizzara. An Arrow Barrage. Oh, hey, look, a crit. Oh, nice. And then she's going to use her last two actions to position herself between Henry and Osiris while taking a defensive stance. So I'm now... I'll add up the damage that she dealt... In accordance with Vaughn's defense. And on her way back, Drava doesn't necessarily say anything of note to uh, Osiris or Henry. But she has an expression on her face that reads, let's do our best not to die here. Wow. So enthusiastic. I'm gonna give Drava a gun. <laughs> I feel like a sword doesn't suit her. Dreyfus turn, she has dealt 
3,619 damage. Damn, girl. So it's my turn? Uh huh. Let's do these. Critical Libra. Alright, give me just a moment. So I can display the appropriate parameters. His HP is one mil. <laughs> no. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What's 20% of one mil? <laughs> Imagine an enemy had like one mil HP. That's when, <laughs> that's when we start relying on gravity spells. <laughs> Then I gotta do. What's this thing I'm looking for? Oh, right here. Alright, there you go. Gravity. Ooh. Oh. Did you forget that gravity, <laughs> gravity? does not work on boss okay. types? Wait, it doesn't work on boss fights? Nope. Oh, well, it whiffed anyways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not gravity. That's just grab. <laughs> <laughs> grab. <laughs> it's not even grab. It's just... Okay. The fucking bond is all like, huh, the floor feels different. Let's set up this stuff. So I'm gonna go with Illusion level two. And I'm gonna put the Where is it? You know what I wanna see one day? You do, Chris? What? There's just like a a weak enemy, but you summon a Bumble. bunch of illusions. Like, there's like a weak enemy that's not a boss; it's just a standard enemy, mm -hmm. and you just summon a bunch of illusions with gravity and just rush them. Yeah, I have Kira now. I'm gonna use Kira. It so it's gonna have Bubble and Kira on it. The illusion level two. Oh, and right. oh yeah, he summoned the spiders, thank god. <laughs> then I'm going to do two illusion level ones. Alright. <clears throat> One's gonna have bubble, which is gonna be there. And it's gonna be Another cure. Oof. <laughs> What's with my not ones Ooh, today? Oh boy, two not ones already. Yeah, let's get rid of them early, please. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to have the illusion just pop instantly, anyways, for the bubble. I'm calling it right now. This burrito okay. is going to give me dumb luck. Right. You putting in your uh, stuff for that? You want me to do it? I'm putting it in. Okay. okay. Health is two, three, eight. I'm currently not here. <laughs> Forgot to remove it. That one is four. Seven. 
That was that or my turn, so you could do it with Cyrus's turn. Alright. I'm setting up all this. Osiris is going to bravely take center stage and use one of her actions to do so. Placing herself in front of Dreva and slightly in front of Henry as she begins slinging out uh, her false holy spell and then she is going to leap into the air and use her valiant strike attack and then for her last turn she's going to consider charging her darkness attack but instead take a defensive stance so now i have that together and because of uh, her false holy casts, Vaughn will be temporarily inflicted with shadow and total darkness. And unfortunately, her Valiant Strike attack did not cause any form of unbalancing and as for the damage she dealt she dealt 607 damage whoops did that wrong Apply the debuffs accordingly, and do that, and that. Alright, it is now Vaughn's turn. And Vaughn will commence his Ballad of Destruction by targeting... Osiris with glare and I forgot to detoggle uh, GM rolls but he crit failed so it's doing half damage anyway so 37 plus man what a boss fight starting with a crit fail jeez Hey, I, I failed twice already. <laughs> Alright, there's you. So Osiris will be taking... Ooh. Wow, she, she lucked out. Because of uh, her natural aversion to wholly related things. Uh, giving her... Uh, additional holy damage, but thanks to the crit fail and her natural defense, she is taking two damage. There's like, Osiris just waves it off to visibly piss off the dragon. Alright. And then for Vaughn's next attack... He's going to target Henry and use Worm Pierce. Worm? Oh. And then for its third attack, it's going to use Worm Hammer on Drava. Wait. Strike the target and remove 30 speed from them? Oh my god. If struck three times by this attack, reduce their defense by 30 for the rest of the battle. Oh my god. Uh, was that physical or magic attack? Uh, for you, it was physical. 
And then for Drava, it was a magic attack. I'm losing. Eight hundred something. Drava, will, will that sneeze? Huh? Did someone just sneeze? No. Oh. Jeva is a weird going, ass sneeze, bro. Jeva is going to be taking six hundred and forty-three points of damage, and she's going to be losing one hundred MP. I lose four hundred and twenty eight. <sighs> and then for Vaughn's last attack, he is going to do let's see here. He's going to do Dragon Crash on... Where's my dice? Dragon Crash? Mm -hmm. I hope he doesn't do it to come after me all the way down where I'm at, because that's going to kill a lot of civilians. I wasn't planning on that, but now I might consider it. Oh! You crit failed though, so I'm just gonna toss you back up. <laughs> if you come at, if you come after me. Well, it's only half damage if you crit fail, but the dice roll determined that uh, Henry would be struck by this. I roll to uh. hit him with my fist. <laughs> Do you have a counter attack? A physical counter attack? Yeah, repose. Uh, rest, rep repose. Yeah, repose that. Doesn't it have to I have the Ooh. prep beforehand? Repulse. I have two. I have the counter one and I have the skill one. Okay. Well, uh, you can click that. Where's the other one? The double repulse. Sorry, I have the repulse there. Yeah, normal repulse there. That's the normal repulse. Is that the counter one? No, the counter one is when you preset it up. That one's the skill one. Okay. This is the counter one. This one's totally different one. Let me see this. That's the counter one. See, there's hey. two separate ones. Okay. Uh, let's see, what's this? Add this up real quick. Okay, so Vaughn's attack was going to deal 447, but because you decided to counter, that is now 224. 224? Yep. Uh, what, what is your charisma stat? My charisma stat is... I remember it's... Two. <laughs> you have modifier two. So you're gonna have to roll to try and resist the poison three. And that's gonna be a 1d85 there, brother. And if you get above half of that, you won't be poisoned. If you don't, you're gonna have to deal with some poison. 84? 85. 85. Ah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, uh, gonna have to deal with poison 3 for a turn. Can Better I catch you know, Athena on yourself as soon as possible. Yeah. That's what I have to do. Uh, 
Poison 3 is going to remove chunks of your HP, dude. So the 244, was that subtracted already from my defense? No, that's the damage you would have been taking after the counter. Okay. <clears throat> so my defense um, is 4 one, one. Mm -hmm. So doesn't that mean it does nothing? Yeah, it, it neutralizes the damage, but you still have to roll against the poison. Yeah, and I rolled bad, so... <laughs> I'm self-poisoned. Yep. Let me put the... Poison icon on you. Alright. So with that established, now we go back to the surface level. As Yashua has safely... Transported all of the non-combatants out of the arena back to the surface level. How are you going to deal with Vaughn's team... Uh, attacking innocent civilians. I'm gonna crack shot them. These bullets are gonna whiz by civilians and they're gonna nail their targets. Right. I'm just that much of a gunslinger. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what attacks are you gonna use? Cause and mind you, these these jokers don't have too much HP, but they also have. Enough HP if you catch my drift. And there are four of them. <gasps> Excuse me. Hmm. Oh, he doesn't have a weakness, does he? Not that you can see. Or that you've exposed yet. Okay. So Critical Libra doesn't expose that? Not yet. <sighs> so these... Uh, how to... It's 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 difficult to pick an attack. Cause I want this to hurt as much as possible. Mm-hmm. So what if I got a one on that <laughs> for the poison? Um <laughs> let's say that poison will be lasting way, way longer. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so... I'm gonna get uh, Goliath to help me out here. Okay. The Gargoyle. He's gonna shoot at two targets. Since he's a Gargoyle heart, he's gonna aim for the heart. How romantic. <laughs> and I'm gonna aim for the head. Okay. Roll that attack, please. And that's for one target or two separate targets? Two separate targets. Okay. The first target is dead. And the second target is living with one HP. Not anymore. He took one to the head. Alright, that's two out of four threats neutralized. Uh... Actually... Alright, and Bullet of Dance crescendos for the last two living targets. Uh, oh wait, it has to be five attacks. There we go. So that one action is for that one target. And that one target is now dead. Turn to red paste. And 
the last one, I'm going to glare at it and see if he decides to run away after watching his three teammates die. Please roll. Uh, insert intimidation here. Yep. Please roll intimidation. <laughs> I'm glaring daggers at this fucker. See if he runs away. Alright, let's see. If he doesn't run, I'm just gonna murder him. Uh, you have successfully psyched them out and they are trying to escape. Trying? Trying. Shoot him in the leg. <laughs> uh, you shot them in their, I think it's called the femoral artery, and they are very quickly dying of blood loss. I'll just leave them there. All right. Actually, hold on. Kick them in the head. Okay, then I'll leave them there. <laughs> All right. And so now that... Uh, oh my god, I was on the nat 20. I just noticed that. So now that uh, the initial player turn has taken place, now the turn order will be uh, Vaughn, Yasha when he returns to the battlefield, Drava, Osiris, and then Henry. And now, uh, normal speed properties will take, uh, will be factored into battle. <laughs> Excuse me. How long dude. is the minus 30 speed for? How long is minus 30 speed for? One turn. Okay. Get hit by it three times, it'll be permanent. No, that's defense. You'll take, no, a, def you have to take a permanent defense loss. Oh no. Defense. <laughs> Whatever should I do? More speed! Okay. Vaughn will use... Let's see here. I'm going to use Void Shot on Drava. And yes. as a reaction, she is going to sacrifice... <coughs> Excuse me. Henry. He's going to sacrifice 150 points of limit break energy to call zero to alleviate some of that damage for her. I just have to bring up the thing again because it did not activate the way it should have. Alright, since I murdered four enemies, how much limit break did I get out of that? One point. <laughs> Damn you. Oops. Whisper. Okay. I can't calculate the limit break energy I'm getting because I murdered four enemies. So, Arika, should we just say basic 500 or 300? Uh, let me look at it again real fast. Uh... You're full. Okay. Look, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, as a reaction to the oncoming attack, she called out to Zero, who, who stood in front of her in combination with his drones to absorb a sizable chunk of the damage for her, and thus reducing the 1183 down to 783. Additionally, she will have a plus 100 defense to the next attack she takes. Afterwards, that temporary defense will vanish. However, Drava is still taking... 
271 damage. <gasps> Excuse me. And as for Vaughn's next attack, he is going to cast Thundaja on Henry. And then is going to cast Twilight Disturbance on Osiris. that up real quick and because of Osiris's natural weakness to light and holy sources this is going to deal an additional 50 damage to her and she has to roll a constitution save Ooh. and she passed Whew. So she will not be inflicted with Shadow and Blind, but she will lose an additional 600 MP. And as for the damage she's taking, she will be taking 581 points of damage. So that was two, and as for Vaughn's last two actions, he's going to cast Dragon Crash again, but this time on Drava, and then he's going to cast Worm Hammer on Henry. Eh. Drava is taking 383 points of damage and I will have her roll against being affected by poison 3 18 so that's Whoops. And Java is also afflicted by Poison 3. Yep. God damn. By the time I come back to the battlefield, everyone's going to be hit by COVID. <laughs> that having taken place it is now Drava's turn and she is going to begin her turn by casting Blizzara three times followed by Arrow Barrage and She's going to cast Eroga. And after being struck by the three ice spells, you see Vaughn's body, you see the scales on Vaughn's body flicker from gray to a cobalt blue, as he is now immune to ice damage for two turns. This is why I don't like dragons. <laughs> Henry's eyes light up. <laughs> and 
and due to the three different ice spells adding all their cold chances together Vaughn is currently afflicted with the cold debuff thus reducing his speed by 50 Uh, when does my speed recover? On his turn or my turn? At the end of your next turn, your speed will come back. Okay. Draver has dealt 3,889 damage to the dragon. So the dragon skills turn to uh, a bluish color? Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, and because of Poison 3, Drava will be losing... That's not right. 633 points of HP. Oh. <laughs> what? Damn. 600 points of tick damage. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Thank god I learned Essena. And when the poison takes effect, you can phys physically see Drava. Well, Henry and Osiris can see Drava uh, spit up green infected looking blood. As it is now, Osiris' turn again, and she hears Drava hack pretty badly as she returns to face the dragon before her and casts her wild flame, her wild, her wild lightning, perform absolution shot. Position herself in front of Drava and very slowly begin charging her darkness attack again. Hmm. Get this up real quick. And due to Vaughn's defense, uh, Osiris has dealt 144 points of damage. Nice. Alright, Henry, it is your turn. Okay, I use Illusion level 2 again. And I'll imbue it with... Essena and Make this one an Essena bubble combo. And I will use two level ones with both Essena. All right. And those will cure me and, uh, thing. Dreva. Alright. That's another three down for my total count. Does the level two count as one summon point for the counter? Yes. Okay. Just make it sure. Mm hmm. He's like that.
Does Ruin work on bosses? Yeah. It's a non-elemental attacking spell. What can I do? I'm going to do two, uh, one illusion, right? Yeah, one illusion. And I'm going to view it with ruin. And then I have the mana charge. 38% of my mana. All right. What icon should I use for this? I'm going to use that. Alrighty. Yashua, you now return to the battlefield, my friend. Uh Yeah, before I return to the battlefield, I'm gonna tell everyone to Get away from the arena. Like, move back. This isn't a show. This is a dragon. Alright. Uh, roll persuasion. It's not going to be a super high roll, though. Persuasion. All right, they hear you, and they very quickly disperse. Anyways, it's if they want to spectate what's going on. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure the news is going to cover this live. <laughs> it's going to take a whole turn for me to get up there, right? Uh, it's going to take this whole turn for you to get back up there. Can I still do actions? Uh, I'll let you do one. Yeah, because, like, I wanted to, like, add a bubble on myself or a shining word, you know, prep before I go all the way up there. Yeah, okay. I'll let you do that. So, yeah. I'm gonna cast, uh, bubble. Forget. I think that was on spells So my HP is doubled. All right. I'm doing my changes right now. In a second. Okay, what did I just miss? Uh, Yashua is Buckle. preparing himself <laughs> before he returns to the battlefield. Since Riku said it's going to take a whole turn to get up there, right? So I'm like, I might as well use it, put it to good use. <laughs> so now I'm the squishiest person in the party. Sacrificed 50 defense. And 
and Good old Shining Ward. Alright. That's all I'm going to do. Okay. I'll end my turn just by flying my way up there. Hmm. I'll place myself like back here. I end my turn by flying. <laughs> the only thing I could do. Alright, so at the end of your... At the start of your next turn, you will be <laughs> back on the field of battle. Yes, sir. Okay. So now it is... Vaughn's turn again. And he will cast Thundaja as an AoE starting from where Osiris is standing. Wrong attack. Right attack. Calculator out. I will do the damage for Drava and Osiris since they both have the same speed. I'll hurry every speed back, by the way. I forgot to tell you that. All good. <laughs> Alright. So Drava and Osiris are taking. Wait, I did, did the wrong thing. Okay, Drava and Osiris are taking 284 points of damage instead of 784. And after Drava takes this damage, she visibly flinches a bit, and Osiris, without looking back at her, uh, calls out to her and says, Kindred, are you... What? what is your physical capacity? And Drava kind of chokes out. <laughs> I ain't doing so hot right now. But I'll manage. How much health is Drava at? She is at... 2,103 out of 4,217. Uh, my spider with bubble and heal goes and heals her. All right. And adds bubble on top of it, too. All right. Let me display that real quick. And then the heal. Alright, Drava is looking and sounding a lot better now. 
as Vaughn continues his ow, continue his uh, attacking turns with deciding to use Warm Pierce on Drava, Glare on Osiris, and then casting the spell called Fading Memory on Henry. So I do warm pierce damage for Drava. Is that enough? <laughs> oh yeah, you passed. You're good. Uh, Drava's bubble shield is taking 854 points of damage. Cyrus is taking six hundred and six points of damage. And two turns have gone by, so Drava now has access to Zero's level two synergy action again. It being Vaughn's turn again. I don't know. Not Vaughn. Drava's turn. She is going to bolster her defenses by casting Patera and Shellra on herself. And then she is going to use. Uh, let's say. She's going to cast Biopulse, yet while the venomous air is coming out of her staff, she's then going to immediately transfer into it with Air Crash and try to copy uh, Vaughn's Dragon Crash attack. Whoa. And I will roll the success rate of this. Okay, while, while not a 100% success, it works out well enough, and the damage of the two attacks will be compounded, and Vaughn will have to roll again. <gasps> Excuse me. Vaughn will have to roll against being poisoned. The Biopulse uh, bio is special poison, though. So let's do this. So Vaughn is taking 1,130 points of damage. Oops. And has to roll against the poison. And Vaughn is poisoned. So I'll put that there. Taste of his own medicine. <laughs> and that is the end of Jureva's turn. And... When... When the poison begins to take effect, you see the horns on Vaughn's head slowly turn to a yellowish-red type of color. 
and then his entire body flickers in a very brief white flash. As he activated his rejuvenation ability. And as for Osiris, she is not going to do anything but continue preparing her darkness attack. And on her next turn, should she decide to do so, she will unleash it. And Henry, you are free to go. Okay, I'm going to do... Lucian number two again. And make it, uh... Maybe... A cure? Could be a cure bubble one. And oh, mana charge. Ooh, <laughs> that's good. Yeah, that's pretty much all your MP back. But yeah, that's my full MP back. <laughs> I don't have to worry so much. So now I'll go with... Illusion level 1. And I'll imbue it with... View it with temper. And then I'm going to make another illusion of a one. And I'll imbue it with haste. That's three illusions. <clears throat> uh, I'll set a tattoo on myself too. For the level zero one. And it will be a SNO one. And my final one will be level one with fire I look back in the screen and the whole place is filled with spiders what the oh, fuck was don't worry I have something set up for your turn You all set? Yeah, that's it. That's all my things I could do. 
Alright, and with that being established, Yashua has now returned to the field of battle. Does Yashua go first? Uh, after... After Vaughn does. How much more speed does Vaughn have than Yashua? Uh... Did you use Critical Libra to see his speed? I use Critical Libra in general, right at the start of the fight. Let me scroll up to see his stats. We didn't get stats. We didn't get his stats. I thought I hit the button to show that to you. Is that on a page? Yeah. Wait, one sec. Oh, it's a character page. One sec. Yeah, I, I know I oh, did that. Oh, nice workout, Riku. Ah, fancy. But... Oh no, we can't see his page. We can't see his. We can't see his page. <sighs> you see it now. Let's reload. I on info. Nope. Is that on his dragon page? Because we only see his normal page. It's supposed to be on his normal page. No, I don't see no character stats. What the fuck? Hmm. What was your stats after you died? Oh shit, so much attack. Maybe I need to refresh real quick. Game's cheating. <laughs> Cheater. <laughs> okay. Tr okay, try nope. now. Dalton up for me. The fuck? You see it now? Yes. Loading. Yes, I got to see it. Oh my god, he has 400 speed. How much speed do you have, Rick? <laughs> uh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's JD, <cheating>, Rick! <laughs> Well, I boosted myself, so I'm at 350. <laughs> 400 speed. Alright, so... I'm now in the battlefield, so now Vaughn is looking at me funny. <laughs> Well, like, yes, Vaughn, I didn't forget about you. You'll have your turn. In response to you saying that, Vaughn retorts with, And here, here I, I thought, thought you decided, decided to turn tail and run after, after making, making the bold. bold. Bold decoration to, to take, take my, my head. head. Oh no, don't worry, I'm still taking your head. It's just I don't know how I'm gonna cut it. You're 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 a bit too thick. And seriously, okay. I, at this point, I'm just going to mock him like a dragon. Out of all things you decide to turn into, a dragon. A big, stupid lizard. And in response to that... Villains nowadays have no taste. Vaughn is going to respond by casting... 
two void shots. <laughs> gl glare. And... Oh, critical failure. Worm Whoa. hammer. I didn't even break through your barrier at all. Your bubble, Rick. Uh <laughs> probably tearing it to shreds, most likely. Okay, so let's see. Uh void shot was is just half damage. The second void shot gets rid of the shining ward. Actually. Hold on, let me add all this together. I did it already. Total damage comes out to 3,936. Okay, so 3,336? 936. 936. Hunting word pop, so I have left with 966 damage hitting me. Mm hmm. So 966. Uh, track my defense. Oh, I have lower defense now. Hooray! Come on. Six hundred. No, no, no. You get don't you get lower defense when it hits you three times? With it? That's with Warren Pierce. He used no, no, stream no, earlier. He used hammer. No, I have lower defense because I use the buff that increases my speed. Yeah. Uh, the defense. Sucks to suck. Originally, I have 416 defense, but I'm, but I'm at uh, 366 now. And for Vaughn's last attack, or last action, rather, he is going to He's going to cast Warren Pierce on Yashua. I call him a bitch at the end. After hitting me with all those attacks. Vaughn responds in a language that you do not understand. And I respond back in an in, in Eidolong tongue, just roasting him. Can I roll to figure out what he's tried to say? <laughs> uh... You can, but that's going to be that's gonna be two extremely high intelligence rolls. Okay, so I have to roll intelligence twice. Yep, you have to get high on both of them. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got a crit, and not 20! So what did he say? <laughs> <laughs> you said, give, uh, let me sip my drink real quick. For the less important stuff, I'll not 20, don't worry. <laughs> my hero. So... For a brief moment, you were trying to decipher the language spoken spoken before you up until you had a 
a brief, very brief recollection of a moment where you read a history book about the Draconic Tongue. And you realized that Vaughn stated that this pathetic fucking mortal thinks, genuinely believes that they can fell me and save this wretched world. I'd like to see them try. Useless sacks of shit. Harry just turns to the author and says, he thinks we can't kill him. <laughs> Since I'm right close to you, can I actually listen to your thoughts? Are you translating this? No. No. Damn it. Your brain is too small. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, I'm going to shoot you in the kneecap after this. Okay, so why from here? Basically, he called you immortal. <laughs> uh, Would you like to show him payback? It's Yastra's turn, right? Yes. Hold on, I'm still doing math here. Okay. So 435. Did your bubble break on that? His oh yeah, he destroyed my bubble. I, I recast the bubble back onto him. His shining the... ward broke, not the bubble. Then... How much? Oh no, he should have a bubble still. Isn't your health like four thousand or something? That's almost six thousand with bubble. Oh yeah, then your bubble's still casted. Yeah, it's still casted. It's just I'm subtracting right now because I forgot how to do all this shit, and I'm just re-educating myself. I feel like a college student again. <laughs> all right, there we go. Okay, so he does all that, and I just spit on the ground and just look at him and go up pathetic, and I give him the finger. <laughs> this is something I learned from this world, just flipping, <laughs> flipping him off. <laughs> so now it's Yashiro's turn. Uh, my temper and haste spiders attach onto Yashua. <laughs> oh, say less! <laughs> They just scurry onto your arms. <laughs> oh, it feels creepy. I give you a questionable glare and I'm like, why spiders? Actually, they're tarantula. <laughs> ah! I hate arachnids. This is like uh, the the... The, uh, the human side of Yashua that's feeling all skittish now. Because of the fucking tarantulas. You can feel them inside your metal plating. <laughs> I don't have metal plating. I'm human right now. <laughs> so yeah, you get... It. I think it's plus 10 speed. From haste level 1. Yep. Wait, what did you do to me? You gave me two buffs. One was temper, so that gives me... Double attack. Uh, Double attack, okay. And so, haste. And more what was the second one? Haste. Ten speed. More. Ten more speed? Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm at 360. <laughs> Alright, uh... Oh, wait. He rejuvenated, right? On his turn? Yep, so all of his ailments Fuck. are now gone. That poison did go through. And he no longer takes okay. uh, extra 10% damage from elemental attacks. What was that? All right, haste. I get to shoot these eight times. No, that's temper. Temper lets you do that. Oh wait, temper doubles damage, doesn't it? It makes all of his attacks hit twice. Oh fuck! Oh, one, two, three, four. Uh, 
You're Fuck also it, gonna five. have to <laughs> roll to hit. Uh, what am I rolling? Uh, I have to roll 40. 1d40, right? Since he's 40. <laughs> Actually, hold on. Can I do something else? Dep Instead of attacking? Depends on the something else. Well, it's another buff I have. It completely flew over my head as something I could have done at the start, but didn't. I will Can allow, I take back my attacks? I will allow you to retcon this turn one time. You get no more retcons Gracias. after this. Gracias. Thank you. I'll buy you a pizza. <laughs> Are you, you know I driving the DM? Oh my god. No, 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 no. I'm not, it, it's not a bribe. It's not a bribe, I swear. Mm -hmm. Who do you think I am? Quantum TV? No, I ain't doing that. <laughs> Alright, uh, this is what I want to do. Wait, hold on. Where are my spells? I'm going to need some extra protection, though, because after this, I will become a glass cannon. Don't worry, I got you. As Henry looks back at all his freaking armies. Wait, where is it? There it is. God. I'm at 310 defense now. So if this fucker hits me, it's gonna hurt. You're 10 faster than <laughs> Now, for visual effect, you see Yashua just arcing with red lightning. Alright. Actually. This is the stupidest thing I'm ever gonna do in this fucking... Don't waste the temper, remember that. Alright, you, 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 you gave me a temper, never mind. Okay. Uh... Do four attacks, come on. I wanted to do. I wanted to cast it. I actually wanted to see how 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 much speed I could get at the cost of all of my defense. Don't do that on a temper turn. <laughs> Not on a temper turn. All right. Uh. I'll make him slower for you guys, and reduce his armor. So this hits twice because of uh you said uh. Temper. temper. Okay. So it's 1600 each one of them. Okay, so at least I'm not missing. <laughs> but since they... Does it get the minus defense modifier too? Uh, and dex? Twice? No. Those only trigger once. Okay, so he lost speed. <clears throat> he loses 40 dex. Not 80. They'll be broken as fuck. 40 defense and 40 ducks. So, like, instead of just being a single bullet, it's gonna be, like, rapid fire. Two round bursts. Alright, and I'm shooting him with the, uh... I should tell him what weapon I'm using. I'm shooting on with the weapon that you get from Alexander. I forgot what it was called. Pedal Piercer? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm using that to hit him with that. What added effects yes. does Pedal Piercer get? Because depending on the weapon you hit him with, it, it will amplify damage or it will do less damage. Mm -hmm. That's why I have to specify what weapon I'm using against him. Because yeah. back then, whenever I did... Because uh, back then, whenever I... Huh? Doesn't your gun have an effect, though? Uh, it does. 
that's why I'm using it. It's not the same effect as uh, Armor Shredder, though. Armor Shredder used to destroy your armor. And that's why I stacked it with Armor Piercer. Alright, Yashua, you have dealt a grand total of 6,236 damage. Yes! While at the same time... Reducing Vaughn's speed by 80 points. So his current speed is now 320. I call him a stupid lizard after that. You fucking iguana! What kind of candy is this? That's a unique wrapper. Wait, this is hot chocolate. This ain't candy. Is that your whole turn? Uh, I end my turn defending. Alright. Drava is... Hmm... Shiva is going to cast Arrow Barrage, Eroga. She's going to cast Fira. Air crash. And... With her last action, she is going to call... Francesca with a level 1 synergy action. And that is in Drava's entire turn. Good job, Drava. I like how Henry just settled into the... the... <laughs> cleric. A dark cleric. He's like, I'm not fast enough, it doesn't matter, just heal. <laughs> I'm not fast, but I am the one who decides who lives and dies. <laughs> God, I went straight for DPS rolls. Originally, I was planning to my, make my character uh, be our, like artillery support. But how the campaign's going, I ended up being fucking burst DPS. Too bad I can't dual cast fucking Pepper. <laughs> Right, that was turn. It's your turn now, isn't it? No, it's not my turn yet. So Cyrus's turn is Dra ah, okay. Drava, with the assistance of Francesca, has dealt four thousand five hundred and seventy-three damage. Oh, I'm keep on forgetting I could get an NPC with me. Damn it. I'm keeping my limit break for a certain moment. As for Osiris' turn, she is going to finally release the attack that she has been charging this entire time, but to make it just a little bit more extra, she is going to slam her sword into the ground use that momentum to propel herself forward into the air high enough to the point where she's right in front of 
excuse me, to the point where she's right in front of Osa, not Osa, Vaughn's face, and she is going to scream at the top of her lungs and release her darkness attack. And after performing this attack, she is going to very slowly descend to the ground in extreme amounts of very obvious pain. Who, Osiris? Yes. And normally the dark smoke that would begin surrounding her after performing that attack it very strangely is not there and for the first time you can actually see her bleed Henry just smirks he's because he has the idea finally So, that was whole, all of Osiris' whole turn? Uh-huh. Can I dual cast Demon Cure? You can take that risk, because Osiris is technically not a demon. Worth a try. Not holy magic. I'll put it. I'll try it. Please roll a one d two to see if you actually heal her or have the adverse effect. Lucky bastard. <laughs> he just grabs her hand and... <laughs> she very briefly turns to look at you and was initially going to question what you were doing, but once she felt some of her injuries being restored, she recentered her attention back on the enemy. Do I, have to roll? Do I have to roll every time I heal her with Demon Kira now? Yep. Oh. God, imagine you accidentally kill her. And yep. after being struck by that, in between turn transitions, Vaughn speaks up and he says, ah, I have not been struck by an enemy source of that composition in a long time. And I now know what this construct really is. I didn't, I didn't think, think I'd have the opportunity to kill, kill the, the Holy, Holy Phoenix, Phoenix on this day. day, but now, now no, I will indeed take that chance. Holy, I question. And after saying that, Vaughn flares his wings before him, and you see several scales eject from his body and pierce Osiris as they lodge into her skin. Yo! And Osiris is screaming in agonizing pain. <laughs> Demon cured. 
whatever. Freaking. I gotta use it some more! <laughs> And once the scales fully settle into her skin, as they look like these grotesque, shattered, diamond-like images in her, you see a number appear before her head. I mean, above her head. Oh, no, it's a doom counter. Oh, 30. Oh, God. <laughs> and once that takes place, you then see the energy around Vaughn begin to shift from a yellow to a very ominous looking crimson red as the insides of his wings turn from yellow to black. The horns on his head turn from gray to purple. His scales and his eye color change to a disgusting, horrid shade of green. As he grows just a little bit larger in size... And, as far as you can tell, his sights are now set on Osiris and Osiris alone. Okay, there's two things I could think of. It's either a f Doom Counter, or it's the same freaking thing that you see Marluxia do to Sora when he whispers in his ear. We gotta pull her back. Don't let her take a hit. I still have four more actions, right? Uh huh. Additionally, while you determine your next turn, when the scales flew out of Vaughn's body, Zero, in an attempt to protect Osiris, sent forth some of his drones to try and intercept the scales, to which, when they made contact, his drones were shattered into a million different pieces. Cynthia attempted to very quickly cast a barrier around her, but she was too slow on the draw and when the scales embed themselves into her skin you see Francesca get extremely angry and lightning begins crackling forth from her body at an alarming rate as the rest of your allies also become increasingly angry at the situation before them I can't believe I neglected to do this earlier, but we're not gonna not gonna talk about that. <laughs> okay. Does the twilight uh, 
work on him. Does Twilight what? Shackle. Where he has to tell me any truth. You can attempt. If you do that, I'm going to need an additional roll of persuasion and intimidation. Okay, we're going to try this. That. So you said persuasion and. Intimidation. Oh god. Intimidation. Um. Nice. Look into my eyes! <laughs> Persuasion. Okay. So, because you're not 20 on the intimidation roll, I will. I'll let the forced truth part slide by, but the root action is only going is only going to last for one command. Oh, no, I just wanted the truth from him. Oh, okay. Ah. <sighs> so Henry, you just Henry's like aura starts to change because he's now extremely pissed off, and. Diablo starts manifesting behind him as he's in front of Vaughn, and he's just like, So what's your weakness? <laughs> he responds with saying that his weakness <clears throat> I have an innate Dislike. dislike the disability, disability if you will toward being struck by magic of different types at the same time translation being if you strike him with two different spells at the same time meaning you and a teammate attack with two different spells he will take bonus damage what if I limit break with my elemental and smack him with seven different elements? <laughs> that technically counts. So, Henry is really pissed off. So, limit break time. So this gets casted for every element I have, right? The limit break? Yes, up to, I believe, seven different elements? Yeah, and I have all seven now. Okay. One, two... Why is it doing that? That's so weird. Three... Four... Six, seven. Oh, I did rip a spiritual pump up. As you are throwing forth your There's spells something. in a moment of rage and determination, Drava turns to make sure you aren't getting overwhelmingly angry as she. Very slowly cranes her eyes above the counter on top of Osiris's head, and it shifts from 30 to 28. <laughs> and we'll add the damage that you have done. Two, three, four, six, seven. That was just one action, right? Mm-hmm. Well, that after the the Twilight Shackle thing, yeah. Oh, that's two actions, so oh, three, because I healed her too this turn. That's three actions this turn. 
Okay. So now I have two more actions. I'll do... Illusion. With... Do this one. Let's see. Dara, Zara. So those two are inside the illusion level two. And then I'm going to do illusion level one. Where is it? With Fyra. And I'm going to slam all the elements onto him with the illusions that I've all just set up from this turn and previous turns. Bomber him. <laughs> okay. Henry has unlocked a new title, A10 Warthog. All the elements master at this point. Because all your spells just went brr. <laughs> just slamming with different elements. Fire, ice, <laughs> light. <laughs> just the whole rainbow with my limit break. <laughs> and we summon <laughs> Captain Planet. Oh, don't worry. I'll get Captain Planet after this turn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so due to the He's magically summoned Don Cheeto. Due to the total accumulation of all of the illusions plus their spells uh colliding into Vaughn with the additional compound element weakness that he has, you have dealt a total of twelve thousand flat damage. Is that a broken record? I smell a broken record. Yes, it is. Henry now now holds the title for most damage dealt in a single attack. I I, I have to break that record. You gotta. I gave you a chance. You didn't want to take it. <laughs> well, see, I don't have to use Limit Break to break that record, though. Don't worry. Imagine if I use Limit Break and Tupper. <laughs> that's the thing. You can't. Yeah, no. No. That's the sad part. Well, trust me, you'll be doing less damage if it wasn't for the fucking armor piercings. <laughs> Which reminds me. Did you add the. <laughs> yeah, I did. Okay. I think I might shoot him with more armor piercing. <laughs> Actually, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna do something a little different. All right. It is now Yashua's turn again. What's and the dragon the, speed up? Right the counter. On top of Cyrus has, has decreased from 28 to 23. Fuck. I don't think we'll be able to kill him before the counter goes down. How much damage did I do? 12,000. Like, so does that make my limit break go back? No. Do so your limit... You do, you do not do recover limit break? limit break energy in the same turn that you use Limit Break. Ah, uh, okay. I didn't know that, okay. Mm. What to do, what to do, what to do.
he's shackled for how long? Uh, uh, up until the next command you make. Okay. So it's like you, your next action, the sh the shackle will be gone and he can't move. Oh wait, he will be able to move. Okay. Um, I'm going to implant bombs into him. I haven't done this yet, but I want to. Can I use special ammo for this, or I have to use normal? Mm, you can. It's going to take... 30 of your special ammo, though. Okay, cool. Alright, so... Fire 3. <laughs> Different element. <laughs> Ooh. I 3. Uh... Oh, I only have two, two different elemental bullets. The other one are just status effects. Fuck it. Fire three, ice three, and uh, I could use an NPC action at the end of my actions. Yep. Okay. Here, uh, Goliath, shoot him in the eye for good luck. That's. That's not an NPC, that's your weapon. Yeah, I know. Oh. I'm just, you know, telling Goliath to shoot him in the eye. <laughs> Knock that monocle out of his eye. Okay. So in two turns, uh, charged up a single boy. Two turns later. So yeah, two turns later, he's going to explode. And I'm going to use my limit break energy to do a level three. And Who am I going to summon? Fuck it, let's summon all the... No, summon okay, Charles. Charles has water damage. No, no. Let let him let him decide who's gonna. Who are you gonna say? I was gonna summon the monarchs. Uh, all right. What was monarchs again? Attack, defense, shield, and critical buffs. All right, so for description's sake, you call them forth to back you up a bit, and Lin and Sora split into their individual bodies, and they begin their assault by striking Shinryu's wings, doing everything they can to afflict some form of a an extremely deep cut upon both of them, followed by Zarin and Vinya firing off spell after spell after spell, and then jumping inside of those spells to further increase their the damage done with their with their holy holy blessed weapons upon Vaughn capsized by Quinn just casually raising her arm above her and creating a sphere of energy that is nearly as large as the arena that you are standing upon <laughs> and she reels her arm back and throws it like a fastball at Vaughn. I look at the monarchs and I'm like, isn't that the same thing she smacked me with? Uh-huh, but in an unrestrained manner, is what Sora replies to you with. 
There's like... You see, like, Yasha feel emotionally hurt after saying that. <laughs> that was painful. <laughs> so, the total damage dealt by you in combination with the level 3 synergy call from the Monarchs, you have dealt 6,402 damage. Cool. I can't wait for two turns from now. As the counter above Osiris's head decreases by three. And if you take a look at her, you can see what appears to be one of the scales beginning to create thorns that are protruding from her body. Uh... Can we cast Libra on her to see what the hell's happening to her? I will tell you now that Libra will not work. Critical Libra? Nope. Would it work? As far as you can tell, you just know that she has some form of doom on her. If I remember right, your 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 doom counter goes back up if you inflict magic damage to the person that inflicted it to you. But I don't know if that same logic applies here. Nope. And the additional effect of the Monarch's level 3 for the rest of the battle, and at the cost of Yashua no longer being able to call the Monarchs at all, everyone gains a plus 10 crit. Nice. Oh, that, that, mmm. Plus 10, <laughs> 85 crits. And I have to remember to declare my attacks as a critical. Because I'm not putting my crit to good use. And once that attack has been dealt, you hear Vaughn begin to laugh. And the laugh continues and it goes on. And on, and on, up until he releases a mighty roar, a roar so loud, louder than Drava's dragon roar attack spell, and I'm going to ask, it, well, all of the conscious combatants to please roll constitution against being move just by the mere sound alone. Oh, close. Constitution? Mm-hmm. Constitution save? Or uh, constitution? Yes, that's the one to say. Constitution save, my bad. I'll just take that and use that as a save. Okay. Uh, I could just re-roll it. It doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> Alright. All of you are able to stand your ground against being moved by his roar. And then you begin to see a particular kind of darkness. Not on like Osiris' darkness, but of a more sinister and heinous breed then you see a counter above Vaughn's head that is very very quickly draining oh joy Pinnacle of Evil. 
We have to do 15k of damage to stop him. And additionally, in between him roaring, he also casted Rejuvenate and Paradigm Shift. And as this, as the meter above his head begins to empty out, every passing player turn, the meter will decrease, and he will gain defense. Oh, shit. Okay. And the and the next thing you hear from Vaughn is but a simple what, what will you do now? I'm still gonna kill you. <laughs> and when he says that uh, please roll intimidation. Uh, charisma save. My bad. I also want to roll intimidation because I'm going to save by any means necessary. Maybe next turn, but not this time. I cry. Okay. Uh, charisma save, you said? Uh huh. Drava failed her charisma save. Oh, I have to do one too. Uh huh. He's just like, you little bitch. <laughs> well, not necessarily that. It's not like you completely denied him, but you're kind of like, hmm, he's a little serious about this one. Now, if you were like, you know, a little pussy after I intimidated his ass. <laughs> hmm. He's acting kind of sus right now. I'm not too concerned about him. I'm I'm more concerned. Oh wait, did he say he's gonna blow up the whole fucking field? Uh, right, cool. The field and the the ground underneath him, including all of the civilians. Everybody's here to destroy everything and everyone before him. This attack will take three. Mm. Hmm. And as I said, as that meter above his head drains, he will gain defense. Hmm. And because of Rejuvenate, in two turns, his stats and any ailments he is inflicted by will return to normal. And that's not, I, that's I ain't not let that of, happen. That's not two of his turns, that's two of your turns. I ain't gonna let that happen. So, whose turn is it now? Uh, it is now Drava's turn. It's time for an all-out attack. And he puts the thumbs up. <laughs> like, we both n nod at each other that we are gonna go all-out on this fucker. Or, I just nod at you. I don't know if you nod back. No. I... Because Drava failed her charisma save roll, she, in a moment of weakness, does stagger backwards just a bit before she feels a hand from Osiris, a, a smoking darkness hand obviously, reach out behind her and bring her back to the forefront. And because of that, Drava will be missing one action for her turn, her current turn. As she throws out three ruin spells and then chooses to sacrifice 400 limit break energy for a Cuban level 3 call.
And I will add up the damage the Draven has done. Damn, her ruin does fucking 1300s? That's crazy. Yeah, I know. I wish mine was level 10. <laughs> So after Draver's turn, the the energy bar above Vaughn's head decreases by 100, and that 100 is transferred into his defense, meaning that his his current defense is now 1,010. And at the end of Draver's attack string, she has dealt 3,159 damage. So he gains 50 defense every turn? 100 defense every turn. Wait, wait, wait. And... Now that one party turn has passed, any ailments that Vaughn was afflicted by, even though he doesn't have any, are now gone. And at the end of Osiris' turn, his stats will return to normal, including his uh, debuffed speed and defense. And as for Cuban's elixir field action, he very quickly rushes to the uh, rushes as close as he can get to all of you, and he just starts throwing elixirs above the air left and right, and then he takes out his trusty bow, bow and arrow. He shoots all of them open as the contents rain down upon you all, and you feel your wounds very slowly being healed. And at the end of Java's turn, due to the effects, Osiris is healed back to full HP, and the counter is restored by two points. So now with Osiris' turn, she is going to begin to store energy again, but this time it is not for her darkness attack. She is instead surrounding herself in a brilliant orange crimson flame. counter is reduced by one. Could you cast haste on me next turn? Osiris me? does not know haste. No, no, no. I'm talking to Chris. He's the only one that knows it. I was going to do something else. And the meter above Bond's head decreases by another 100 and increasing his defense again. And because now two turns have gone by, his stats have returned to normal. His speed has returned to 400, and his defense is now currently 1250. Wait, 1250? Yes. Well, there goes all my attacks. There's still something you can do. I don't think there's anything. I have no limited rate energy. <laughs> what do you mean? You've been healing and you dealt damage. Oh, well, not Last the dealt turn damage. I used it all. <laughs> uh, so I just illusion. <laughs> Temper and haste onto it. <laughs> I'm useless right now. <laughs> Not exactly. I'm looking at something that will do damage on your sheet. 
two things, actually. How much damage do we do to him in, t in total out of these two turns? Uh, so far... Uh, three th no, 3,159. If I use Kaliborg, I have to still meet a thing. Speed check. <laughs> that's why I'm telling you to give me temper. Yeah, that's why I set it up like that. Because I'm, I'm going to attempt to dish out some... Wait, two turns has passed already. He should be exploding by now. Mr. Exploity. Yeah, yeah, by the bullet dance explosive shots. That. I, I shot four of them at him. That one's set for Rick. Okay, I gotta do this one. That's it. There. Okay, I'm using Inner Demon. Okay. Right. Uh, the explosions from explosive shot have dealt another 1,526 damage. But with the inner demon, the uh, the spell turret. What exactly can I put with that? Am I able to do the whip and the Caliborg with that boosted? Say that one more time. So, uh, I get to cast the illusion with the inner demon, right? Uh huh. For two spells to be increased, right? Uh huh. Can I use the whip and the Kaliborg as those two spell? Hmm. As me, the catalyst? Yeah, since they do have. Well, since they are considered magical items and have magic deck properties, I'll, I'll let it slide this time. So the whip is going to hook onto him, pull me towards him, and then I'm going to slam him with the Calibur. Blessed. Pierce it into his chest. <laughs> Alright. Right, you have well, the bar decreases again, increasing his defense again. But you have now dealt one thousand eight hundred twenty-eight damage. That was one, two, three attacks. And the counter above Osiris's head has again decreased by three. Well, how much damage was that? Just now? Yeah. You dealt 1,828. While I'm still attached to him, I'm going to swing the Calibor two more times. Uh, 
Okay. Smacking this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, smack him in the mouth for talking shit. Right, you've dealt another three thousand, uh, three thousand and fifteen right damage to him. What do you want, Bruno? You want attention? Here, hold on. Let me put Bruno on the onto my lap. He's gonna give me a good look. <laughs> and at the end of the turn, can I summon an ally? You're gonna give me that twenty. Uh, sure. You give me that twenties. Yes. You give me that twenties. Who am I going? Yes. Yeah. You gonna give me that twenties? Yes. Since I want Rick to do the maximum damage, I'm going to summon level 3 Cynthia with the 400 okay. that he's got. Okay, uh, player 4 Bruno has entered the game. So, level 3 Cynthia. Level 3 Cynthia? Yep. Okay, so description wise, Cynthia, here's your call, and she does a familiar looking hand sign in front of you, one that she taught you for her fire spell, with a couple of added motions as hearts of crystal of all different kinds begin swirling around the battlefield and inevitably condensing around every party member and for the remainder of this fight you gain plus two crit plus 10 attack plus 20 speed <gasps> plus 100 maximum hp and mp and any and anything that costs more than 200 MP has a 50% chance to be reduced to zero. So that means Rick is faster than him now. Yes. Oh, well, Rick. I've already, uh, well, I've already been faster than him by 10. He recovered, remember? Yeah, and even with him full recovered, I was still faster than him by 10. Yeah, with my haste. My haste wore off. Now you're over a hundred faster than him. Wait, what? How am I over a hundred faster than him now? Cynthia. Cynthia, Cynthia gives you a hundred speed? Yep. <laughs> what the uh, oh, uh. Now, go my minion. <laughs> Wait, where are you getting a hundred speed from? Because it's plus twenty. Yeah, that's what I'm... Okay, then. That's fine, that's still him faster than him. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Go on my little squirkly illusion. Attach the Rick. <laughs> yeah, it's stupid the spider. One, the one with haste and temper. <laughs> so you got plus two crit. Plus ten attack. 20 speed. We all got extra health and mana. Okay. So hit him hard. <laughs> so, uh, you gave me crit? How much crit did you give me? Two. <laughs> you, you know Vaughn says to take his turn, right? Why is it Yashua faster than him? He, it's the end of the player turn. He never took his turn turn. Or he did. No, that was that was as uh, that was earlier when he started using his limit break. Everyone's had their turn now. Okay. 
Gashwa has a giant spider sitting on his ass. <laughs> Okay, so I crush I I just crushed a spider to get the buff. <laughs> <laughs> so with Vaughn's turn again, he is going to cast Fading Memory. Oh 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 What what happened? So we need a uh, Nat twenty save oh. for that. <laughs> well, so what is this is uh this is awkward how is it awkward uh because that one spell was for uh both yashua and henry wait you could target two people at once that's cheating well, I was going to click it twice, but that one is, has me very concerned for the next one. Okay. Okay. Alright. We're good. We're good. We're not dead. So... So, who's being targeted by the first one? Uh, let's roll the dice. I'm going to roll my 1d6. Is it an AoE? No. Thankfully. Oh, I have a chance to dodge it. So... Uh... Henry, uh... Pray that you get a very good wisdom save roll. <laughs> Buddy! But, no! <laughs> Henry, if you die, I will kill you. Wow, that was one off from a nat 20. <laughs> yep, and, um... Fortunately... Uh, no more illusions for three turns. It's okay, I'll beat him with my stick. And all of the buffs from your illusions are also gone. And I, I very much mean all of them. So the buffs that he casted on people are gone? Yep. Rip. This includes See, this is why you should uh directly cast instead of relying on illusions. No, they would have gone too. Anything I casted is gone. That includes the, all the hastes, all the tempers, the bubbles, all gone. <laughs> Everything I cast is gone. Now, I have to run to the bathroom very, very badly, so I will return in a moment. Why did it hit you? <laughs> It's okay, I still have an idea. See what my other wisdom call would have been. That would have been bad.
Ah, uh, jeez. Fading memory, of all things. Well, you better take it out. Wait, what did Cubans thing do? Uh, Elixir heal. I am returned. Welcome! Alright. Okay, and now for... One that Rick has to deal with. Uh, I see that wisdom save. Okay. Well, for the next three turns, you will be unable to use Armor Piercer. Wow, all my stuff gets in the game and he gets thrown here. <laughs> I mean, that's his most used attack. It's okay, I have... I have other ways to break defense. And just that one's that one's more convenient. And Vaughn's stuff has already reset itself. Mm. As the counter decreases by another one hundred. I'm just gonna draw circles on the floor of my nest. <laughs> uh. Now for his next three actions. Going to cast. Might as well cast Fading Memory on everyone. Fuck it. I have to go through my move sets and think what I'm gonna do. Going to cast. Worm Pierce. Oh my god. I'm gonna roll for that. <laughs> okay, let's see this fork. So, a one or a two is gonna be Osiris, a three or a four is gonna be Drava, a five will be Henry, and a six will be Yashua. Please land on a six. It landed on a six. What? That's bad. <laughs> I can't dodge it because it's a nat 20. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized what I just said. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate the Do you know enthusiasm. like uh, in, in, in Yu-Gi-Oh! Kaiba gets blasted by Exodia? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's me right there. Ah! I, I appreciate the enthusiasm, though. It's better than me. I would have been half my HP. Alright. The damage coming... Don't worry. I'll live. The damage I think. coming your way is 1,361. He still has a long uh, bubble. Motherfucker! What, what do you mean, low, 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 still high damage? You still have your bubble, don't you? Yeah, I still have my bubble, but it hurts. It hurts invisible, Barry. <laughs> <laughs> Silence. I'll kill you. Okay, I'm just going to be drawing circles for my next turn, Rich. <laughs> your, your speed has also decreased by 30 points. Ah, uh, back to 400. Uh... How much did I lose again? 1,361. And the counter above Osiris' head has decreased from 18 to 15. As the 
Scales are now protruding more and more from her body and her skin is now beginning to change color. As for the uh, next attack, he's going to cast Void Shot on Osiris and Thundaja as an AoE originating from Henry. So, what's my, my measuring tool? Yeah, that's hitting me. Yep. Rip. Since it's an AOE, does it get cut down, the damage? Uh, no. Yeah, you just gotta subtract your speed instead of your defense from it. Oh, All right. Worse. Oh, rip. <laughs> so, Cyrus is being hit for... Osiris is, hit, is being hit for 1,465. I'm getting hit by 574. 782 damage. As the counter above her head decreases from 15 down to 10. Reva is being hit for 779. My ball boy is about to break by a single gust of wind. If a gust of wind hits me, my bubble shatters. You're lucky you have a bubble. I can't do nothing. See what happens when you when when you rely too much on magic. I'm a me. <laughs> <laughs> See what happens you use magic too much, bro. Do I like a joke to you? <laughs> That's literally what he said, bro. <laughs> oh man, that was funny. <laughs> Fuck, I'm a mage. Steal his gun. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine being a mage. Damn. Disrespectful. Wait, you still have your armor piercer guns, right? Uh, they naturally. Ah! Oh. Uh, Armor Shredder used to do that. I don't think my gun does that anymore. Hold on, let me check. Do you have your old guns? Any of your old guns? No, Armor Shredder got turned into a um, pedal piercer. No, but do you have any of your old guns? I, th I think the answer is no. Yeah, I carry two of them, like the Everyday Cobra and the uh, Fire and Ice Revolver. You still have the Fire and Ice Revolvers? I have a strategy, Riku, is this a lot? Uh, oh. e even if I he... can, I, I can switch weapons, yes, but I'm gonna have to re-edit my stats. Plus, he got those when he was level 5. That's fine! I'm gonna repurpose them! <laughs> they aren't going to do any damage. Hey, I'm not doing any damage now! <laughs> <laughs> Imagine being useless. Man, the disrespect in the room right now is astonishing. Jesus I'm like Christ. A crip. <laughs> <laughs> we got Henry with Alzheimer's over here. Forgot how to use magic. Oh, golly. Okay, so... We're gonna end up dying because we keep on disrespecting each other. Getting back on track, because the final turn has expired from Cuban's Elixir Field, the healing is over, and now all of you have one Elixir in your inventory. Ooh! Wait. So you're telling me that I was healed? That damage? Yeah. But I didn't really take damage? 
I mean, you, 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 to be fair, you did, but it was healed. Well, it's back to edit. <laughs> oh my god, I have to edit my damage. Wait, how much are we being healed back? Your entire health bar. Back to full health. So not, not back like, not your max HP, but whatever you were missing is back. Uh, okay, I'm back to I'm full. Te I'm technically full HP because my bubble didn't burst. Uh-huh. I'm mine dead, so mine is just coming back to full HP. And full mana, right? Mm-hmm. That's how elixirs work. Yeah, but I don't think it counts for me because I'm using a bubble, and technically my health bar hasn't taken no. damage. No, I it don't has think not. It so that doesn't apply to me. Nope. But I did get my mana back. How much money was I at? Cause, cause I know I was at the low side. Oh yeah, definitely. Get, get back my mana. Okay. <clears throat> so. There is... Now I have three elixirs. Cool. There is... Uh, two turns left. Before... Pinnacle of Evil is casted. Vaughn's um, current defense... Is 1550. And... Even though we, we did get off track... Uh, for his last action, he took a defensive posture and placed his wings in front of him, almost as if he was curling into a ball. Oh, how cute. Look, he's scared. Oh, I say I'm, this too. So I'm just not allowed to use illusions, right? Nope. But I can use any other spells, so that's fine. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm, I'm remembering how many times you use illusions plus whatever, but uh, yeah, he used illusions a lot more compared to everything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I always so use yeah, because because at a at a rough but, estimate, uh, you've used at least like almost seven this round. Yeah, <laughs> almost almost fucking thirty something. So. Yeah, no, no illusions. So yeah. so yeah, look, you're not an illusionist anymore. You're a black mage now. You can still use magic. You're not entirely useless. Okay, I have to follow my old ways. You're too reliant on illusions. Look what happened to you. No, it just helps out. It's like basically a double cast. Plus, I'm trying to get illusion level three. This kind of sucks. I'm but, at 247 to go. <laughs> well, fading memory is gonna do what to you? How long? Oh, it's for three turns. Oh shit! <laughs> Dude, I could just recast the things, <coughs> the bubble, and all that. You could. I just can't use the illusion. <laughs> you just don't have the same casting ability. So you'll be casting uh, less. One spell less. And no delayed spells, basically. Okay, so we're going to have to play Rock, Paper, Scissors, because me and the dragon have the same speed. Well. Is that his turn? The dragon just... Yeah, the turn order ended. Yeah, it turn order reset. So, Vaughn's in in Vaughn's defensive state. Uh, he will be taking twenty percent less damage on top of his regular defense. Okay. I just want to make that clear. Yet, from his wings, there is. But a small opening of which he can see through and will use this opportunity to cast Glare on Drava. I'm going to cast Well Yeah, going to cast Worm Pierce on 
Yashua. And because both of you have the same speed, you can either... You can use a reaction to dodge, or you can try and counter it. I'm just gonna dodge because if I try to counter, I'm gonna lose speed. Okay. What reaction commands are you using to dodge? Uh, I'm just gonna sidestep. <laughs> I have nothing in mind. Alright. Okay, so we're gonna... Do I have to roll for it? Or, 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 or like, um, say for example, he just aims at my head. Because, you know, knocking me out will fucking reduce my speed by, by a load. I just, you know, tilt my head to the side and it just whiz, whizzes by. Yeah, okay. There's no one behind me, right? Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, there's no one behind me. So yeah, I just tilt my head and it just whizzes by. Do I get style points for that? No. Damn it. <laughs> you better roll to carry it. <laughs> what, shoot it back at him? Wait, I do have a counter for that, but, I, but I'll take damage if I do it. Was it called? Retaliation? Yeah. Yeah, but I'll take... Yeah, but I'm still going to get hit by that, and I don't want to lose a 30 speed. Okay. okay so yeah, gonna... I don't want to do that. Alright, that's fine. So we're going to negate more Pierce. So we're going to take two actions. Uh... We'll then cast Twilight Disturbance again. This the time, the fuck does that do? The beam. Oh, okay. The beam will be going towards Henry. So let me let me roll Drava's damage that she took real fast, and the meter has decreased by another 100 points, therefore increasing <coughs> increasing Vaughn's defense. By another 100 points, so his defense is now 1,650. All right. You are not. You will not have to deal with shadow and blind, but you will still lose the additional 600 MP. MP, I don't care. How much damage am I taking? You are taking... 900. The damage numbers come out to 1,025. And Drava is taking from the glare... Four hundred and eighty-five. <laughs> Excuse me. Six hundred and fourteen. All right. So for Vaughn's next action, action number four, he is going to use. Worm hammer on Osiris, and then I'm going to cast Void Shot at a dice. Land on a six. Land on a five. Let me take it. I have idea. No, let me take it. I have an idea. <laughs> Wait, what? Both of you roll a 1d2. <laughs> Why can't you just roll for a 6 or a 5? <laughs> it's, it's more fun this way. 
God damn it, Rico. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Okay. All right. R, okay, wait, wait, wait. R slash D, what? 1D2. Moment of truth. One. Uh, oh. you got the space. Slash R. It's slash R, right? Yeah. Slash R space 1D2. How the fuck? Damn it. Again! <laughs> Again. <laughs> There's no fucking way, bro. Come on, Rick. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> you outdie me this time? I'll be back! That, yeah, was, <laughs> that was funny. Dude, just imagine on the scene that Henry and I are playing rock, paper, scissors to see who gets hit by the void shot. Right. Okay, so what the hell is? Uh, what was that? Right. So Osiris is being hit by a worm hammer, and the counter above her head drops from eleven to nine. As she takes 633 points of damage. And the void shot was going towards Yashua. Are you? Oh, so I'm getting hit. Yes, you, you you lost the one D two battle. Okay. You got taken in the face. <laughs> All right, I will attempt to dodge. Can I roll to push him in the way and take the shot? <laughs> mm, no, but there is a synergy reaction command you can use. So we can synergy with it? Say that again? So I can synergize with energy? Did you say synergize with energy? Yeah, I want to synergize with the void energy. <laughs> that was my whole goal of this. <laughs> um. E el elaborate a little bit for me. I want to absorb it so that I have energy to <laughs> Oh, no. Uh-uh. Uh... I'll, I'll, I'll give you this. If you want to impede the attack, you can either call... Hmm... You can call between zero the Valkyria unit or you can call Wrath. Nah, that's fine. You can take the damage. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Same speed. Alright. All right. This time, since it's a projectile, I will retaliate. I gotta find it though. Me. 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 Where is retaliation again? Is it in my spells? Asuna, Unyielding Strength, Bubble, Mist Shell, Earth Shell. I forgot about these. But yeah, Riku, I use Retaliation on it. 
I just don't remember where I left the command. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> At the same time, Riku. Nice. Okay. Uh oh. So he's hitting me with void shot. That does what? You are reflecting. <laughs> so you're taking the hit, but you are reflecting. 473 points of damage back at him. Yeah, with his defense means nothing. Unfortunately, yes. But... Hmm. What? No, 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 no. I, 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 I misspoke. So you are taking the hit, but 40% of damage you took is still being affected by him. like defense does not take into account counter attack damage i misspoke that was my bad ah uh, so he's taking damage yeah 473 points how much has he taken so far uh let me add that up real quick Whoa. up to that 15k requirement i'm only taking 300 damage that's fine Or 300 and something. Fuck. Oh well. With He's that? Taking uh, 10,033 points of damage. Also, and again, my bad, I neglected to mention because I was doing a lot. <coughs> Excuse me. A lot of math. Uh, there is he one... busted my bubble. There is one turn remaining before Pinnacle of Evil is casted. Wait, how much damage did he take? So far, he has taken 10,033 damage. Gotta do 5k more. Ugh. I could recast Bubble, right? On myself? On yourself, yeah. You do, do you could recast anything back By except illusion. for Illusion. Well, my bubble popped. Insert something here. <laughs> so it should be my turn now. Uh huh. Okay. Well, this is looking kind of grim. Are dragons in this world always a pain in the ass? Regis, a question. Regis answers your question and says, Most of the time, they are not. But when you do make a deal with that that wishes to devour all dimensions that are known, yeah, they're, they're pretty fucking annoying. Fine. You see, uh, Yashua dematerialize his rifle. And you see his... His left arm just burst into flames. And he punches the ground. I'm gonna summon Ifrida. Oh. Okay. Where are you? There you are. Lend me your strength. Uh, I'm gonna put her over here. Put her right here. All right. So you summon. See, I might. You summon everyone's favorite fire, Esper Elemental. As she comes spinning out of the gun. All right. Who called for her? Oh my God.
Yeah. Allow me, allow me to introduce you to a new friend, a real pain in the ass piece of shit of a dragon. You know, I, I, I think using the term friend is uh, a, sh a bit of a stretch, but... Yes, it is a bit of a stretch, but see, I want to make him past tense. Alright. So, how are we going about doing this? We're going to hit him, you and I, simultaneously with two different elements. Since you specialize in fire... Well, you know, I am pretty hot. Oh, yeah, indeed you are. Get a room! <laughs> <laughs> okay. You say that, and she turns to you, do you- Wait. Have we? Do I know him? That's Henry. He's gone through a makeover. Oh. Oh, that's yeah, he, why you look yeah, so he's weird better now. Days. Oh, okay, whatever. I stopped caring. Yeah, I did too. Anyways, what's your most powerful flame attack? Because uh, huh. I don't care if you go thermonuclear. If you are aware of that term. Uh, well... I can... I can muster up a pretty threatening fireball. Uh, that's... That's the best I got right now. In my summoned state. And not in my natural state. Ah, uh, yeah. Sorry, I'm not strong enough to bring you out of your full state. Eh, I kinda look bad. You'll, you'll get there eventually. Yeah, granted, if I could get this guy's head on a silver plate. Henry, hold Anyways. the little crystal of Odin. It's like, why can't we be like them? <laughs> oh, <laughs> the Odin crystal? Yep. You, you call out to Odin, and Odin does not respond, but... You hear, you hear the wind dancing and drifting in the distance before you, but that's all you get. Henry just smirks and it's like, okay, buddy, don't worry, eventually. All right, we're going to hit him with everything we have. You go left, I go right. All right. Now, the bar decreased again, as per usual. And Vaughn's defense is now 1750. Ugh. Okay, so... Afrida is gonna just... do her best to do as much damage as she could possibly muster. Right? And well, I do the same. At your beck and call, she starts summoning a giant ball of fire. The biggest ball of fire you have ever seen in your life. Damn. I think that's the third time I saw her do that. You think to yourself... Wait. You think to yourself, every time, it keeps getting bigger. Wait. Wait, that's the third time I see- I just learned a new spell. I, 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 I was waiting for you to catch on to that. I just learned fucking, uh, Farija, cool. I will implement this later. Like, in character, I'm all like, ah, so that's how you do that. I like snap my fingers on my like, okay, now I get it. And as, as she is swelling the ball of fire above her, she said, what are you talking about? I just 
Oh, oh no, I just figured out how to cast the same spell you just did. Oh, I've been trying to wrap my head around it ever since you used it for the first time. That's because there's a shiny rock in your chest, right? Shiny rock in my chest? The proto materia. I looked on my shirt, I don't see a rock. Ah. The soul jam thing, yes. Every time I see a spell, if I see it a few more times, I, I'm able to learn it. Or if I get hit by anything. Quite convenient. And after you say that, Osiris kind of shouts at you. If you're done flirting with the Esper, we have a dragon to kill. And when she finishes her sentence, she, out of nowhere, begins to get electrocuted as now you can see what appears to be vines coming out of the scales embedded in her skin and the thorns that are coming out of her now are starting to become more and more pronounced as her skin color has shifted from originally her typical gray to a sickly looking greenish red and additionally she has began to bleed from her fingernails Ugh. yeah you've definitely seen better days damn just about I, I honestly thought I had to burn a turn just to get closer. Alright. So she's going to hit her with fireballs. I'm going to hit her with... Uh, I can't do that. One, two, three, four, five... I'm using 25 of my ice bullets, ice three. Okay, I'm gonna do that three more times because my fourth action is gonna be for something else. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, that net one. And for my last action, there's something I want to test. I throw an elixir at Osiris's face and right before it makes contact I shoot it to soak her with it something caught my attention was what uh Cuban did I'll spend one silver bullet for that okay Okay. So taking in Those were all ice bullets. Ice threes. I don't have any more ice threes. Okay, so as you were as you were in the middle of your attack actions, the counter was slowly decreasing from nine all the way down to four, but when you announced that you were throwing the elixir and you shot it to cover Osiris in it, the counter went back up to six. Ah, as I thought.
Wait, it went up? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I soaked her with elixir. Because I saw Cuban, uh, Cuban knock up her counter with an elixir. So on my next turn, I actually wanted to test that out, see if it will work again. Okay. So, with your and Ifrida's combined efforts, you and taking into account uh, Vaughn's defense, you have dealt 4,432 damage. Was that enough to do the 15k? Nope. You we still have one more turn. Defense, How much? Uh, his defense has gone up again, so he's now at 1850 without his defense buff. And due to being hammered by fire and ice all at the same time, he casts Paradigm Shift again, and he is now immune to fire and ice. Okay. Now for my NPC action. How much limit break energy do I have for this? You have more than 400, I'll tell you that much. I do. Oh, wait. I should be at 1,000 now since I knocked that shit back up. Uh, okay. Well, I'm still going to be at 600. Just because it's using... lightning attack. Uh, okay. Plus two. Where's, where's Discord? I have to go through the attacks again. Um... Francesca's I'm gonna get Francesca to use lightning attacks. Plus plus. Yeah, level three. Alright. And when you do that... You... Make the call. And... The lightning... That has been surging forth from her body this entire time has for a brief moment halted and as she briskly walks closer and closer to the center of the battlefield she in a moment of determination confidence and almost blind rage she removes her jacket she cracks her knuckles and the same way that Vaughn coated himself in his own transformational energy you see Francesca say something but you cannot hear her due to the sheer amount of lightning and electricity that has filled the room and it covers her entire body. And seconds later, you hear her move. And then you hear nothing. And then seconds later, you hear the equivalent of four sonic booms taking place all at the same time. And I would now play this. As Francesca has finally decided to cast away pretenses and take her true form as Ixion. Which not only uh, deals two different types of lightning damage because of her natural state being Ixion, the Lightning God, having access to all different forms of it, she alone fulfilled the dual element weakness requirement to inflict bonus damage upon Vaughn. And in her now transformed state, all of her prior call actions 
have their attack power enhanced by 400 points. However, because she cannot transform twice over, no one else can use her level 3 call action. Additionally, with her assistance, you have broken through the threshold required to prevent the limit break from taking place. And as such, his defense reverts back to 950. His guard stance is broken. And his limit break pool is and will remain at zero. And she looks over to Yashua and then warps right next to him. And she says, Thanks. Thanks for giving me the right wake up call to stop hiding myself from things I shouldn't have to hide from. I just smile at her and say, Don't mention it. I will always help out when you need it. And then she... She lets out a rallying cry to everyone else present on the battlefield, inclu including the monarchs who she's never met before, before this point in time. And everyone is reinvigorated to assisting to help you take this goddamn dragon out permanently and as for Vaughn he got hit so damn hard that he was forcibly moved almost off the arena if he was standing on his feet as I said before you made enemies with the wrong opponent. I, I re, I rematerialize my weapon. All right. And so, with that having taken place. It is now Osiris' turn, who, after struggling to maintain the energy that she was trying to store due to the scales that she was infected with, she then releases all of her accumulated energy and reclaims the form of the Phoenix. Ah, the immortal. Does the doom counter go away? No, it's still there. And you do you do notice that while her regular human body is still present, her phoenix form is almost that of an avatar-like state. Not not exactly like Yashua's Eidolon transformation, but manifested in a way where it almost looks like she's in direct control of it from her original body. And though the counter does go down by one, Osiris boldly claims that <clears throat> if I am to die here by this vile beings machinations by whatever I have been inflicted upon my dying breath will not be in vain I don't care what the hell happens to me but I will give a damn about the lives that I was originally tasked with the incorrect mission of saving as i have now realized the true intent 
of caring about people from any walk of life. Spoken like someone with a true will of their own. And as a result of this, Osiris takes. Uh, you see Osiris's physical body take a deep breath, and she exhales very, very slowly. And then, she begins casting her own Limit Break. On her next turn, this will take place. As, as she begins charging this, you see her physical body go limp in the legs and fall to the ground as whatever she was infected with is again quickly spreading to the rest of her body and it is actively disabling her. I rolled to catch her. You can roll to catch her, but I'm also gonna have you roll survival so that you do not stab yourself by the thorns coming out of her body. Do survival. And what was the other one to catch her? S Dexterity. <clears throat> of course, one that I suck at. <laughs> okay, you lunge over and you catch Osiris's falling body, yet you ever so slightly graze your left hand on one of the thorns that was coming out of her, and the injury inflicted upon you at first is neglectable, but then it quickly turns into an extreme searing pain as the open wound begins to glow a sick a sickish looking green and you see a 10 count counter appear above your hand Dreva is going to spend her entire turn focusing all of her efforts upon doing anything she thinks she can to prevent this infection from completely taking over Osiris. And as a result of that, and her final action, she is going to scream at the top of her lungs for Isla to assist her and call forth her level 3 synergy action. As Isla rushes over and she makes a prayer to a god that you've never heard of in your entire life. Yet, before long, you see holy mystical energy raining down from the sky upon you as you are all enveloped in a special type of shield. A special kind of shield? 
Uh -huh. Wait, she talked to a god, right? A god that you have never heard of in your entire life. Henry whispers to Isla, we need to have a chat later. Remember, Henry's super religious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> All right. So what's the shield do? Uh, the shield yeah. is... It's, it's a shield unlike any that you ever had casted upon your cast it yourself. And its properties are it is equal to one half of everyone's max HP plus a thousand. And when it breaks, uh, yeah, I, I'm already taking care of that, no worries. And when that shield breaks, all allies will gain plus 200 defense for three turns. So how much is that total? <laughs> That's a lot of fucking health. <laughs> well, that's one way to answer it. <laughs> like, imagine... It has to being, be over 10k. Imagine being... Imagine having so much health that you are invulnerable. So what is this health that at? Do we want to know? I mean... Uh, he's doing math. Can I cast bubble on top of it? No. <laughs> no, you cannot. <laughs> I was going to ask the same damn thing. <laughs> yeah, nice try, buddy. I'm going to shiny ward my bubble. You say you're going to what? I'm going to cast shining ward on myself, too. Uh... It's only... The Shining Word is only going to be my HP, though. Not the bubbles. Yeah, that's fair. Alright. All of you now have a shield that is equal to 13,330 HP. Uh, 1,300. 13,330 yep. HP? Yep. 13,000... 133330. Three, 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 uh -huh. I am... Oh... I am a boss now. <laughs> I have so much HP that... You can't see the other bar. It is now... Henry's turn. Henry whispers to Diablos to find out a cure for this thorns curse. Better start ripping pages. No, I'm just asking him. He might even know. You think Regis might, might, might know? I, uh... I hate to be the, the bearer of the bear news, but... What? There's... There's... No. No. No what? There's no stopping it. No stopping it? No. What if we put him in the ground? That's, That's not, not going, going to stop it either. So you're telling me I'm going to die? Well, well your hand's infected. I thought that if the counter goes down, you're just going to lose your arm. I s- For more of Osiris, there's no shame. Give him the- the state of the infection. For you, because it's so weak and minor. If you get rid of the dragon fast enough, it's gone. But 
there's, there's no, no saving, saving the Phoenix. Phoenix. Is there any way to give him a taste of his own medicine? No. Because the curse came, came from, from his body. body. Well, it's been put into our body. So while you're saying that you could dilute it? I want to recreate and use it against it. him? Recreate it in my body. No. <laughs> this is such a violent kind of curse that you have to be steeped, rooted, molded by the wizard. Worth sins and even I've done in order to make something like that. Additionally, this is the kind of curse that only affects holy beings as it very slowly transforms them into something monstrous. Yeah, I think I might have an idea how to save her. Give him her. She will not transform, but the curse of the body will remove her. Remove her immortality. And once her immortality is snuffed out, she's dead. And what will it do to my hand? At best. You won't be able to use it for about a day. At worst, you may want to lose your hand. What happens if I just pop off my hand right now? Then the curse stops. Can you regenerate my hand? Regis could. It's going to take a bit of time given. <laughs> Please tell me I'm not going to have a baby hand. No. <laughs> what happens if I shove my hand into his mouth? Do you realize how small that it is significant you are compared to him? No, but it's a cursed hand. Are you expecting a cursed hand or a curse? No. I want to shove that hand into him so he feels the thought. No. That's it's not how it works. GM Sama, check your DMs. Okay, hold on. Can I whip onto the dragon again? Um. You're gonna have to pass a speed check. Okay, I'm gonna try. First, I'm going to use temper. Okay, and where's my whip? 
the apples is whack. So what do I have to roll? Uh, you are going to have to roll. What's your speed? Two. One eight. One ninety two. You're gonna have to roll. 1d208. Great. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <sighs> okay. Again we go. And again. Eventually, I'm going to hit it. Or maybe never. Wow. Still not enough, I'm guessing. Oh, nope. That one works. Okay, so... Does that hit double too? Since temper? <clears throat> yep. <clears throat> Excuse me. God damn. Yeah, it does. Okay, and since I'm point blank now, I'm going to do. Hell blower. Less. Alright, let me add that up real quick. Double two, right? Uh huh. Temper. Okay, you, <clears throat> Jesus Christ, you have dealt with 5,394 damage. 5,000 what? 394. And once you strike Vaughn with this series of attacks, you hit him so hard that if you weren't paying attention, you would not have noticed the genuine flinch of pain, as now you're starting to take into account that the battle damage inflicted upon him has been showing more and more. You can see him bleeding in many different places. You can see bruising, missing scales. He's many, many, many different kinds of battered and bruised. And looking like he's on his last legs. Or in this case, wings, since he has no legs.
as when Vaughn gets himself back in order, you hear him begin to exclaim things such as him truly and genuinely believing that the power that Shinryu bestowed upon him was supposed to be unstoppable, unbreakable, invincible, even, and that he's appalled that the promises that were made to him are now falling flat, falling short of what he was told and led to believe. As the longer he goes on, you see the scales on his body change color again, but yet, now they're shining the, the reverse colors of the rainbow. And he sounds as if he is screaming in raw, genuine agony. Yashua yeah, just scoffs and says, what the hell's wrong with him now? Dreva says, well, um, based off what he said, I think he's having a mental breakdown over being promised things that he found out the hard way are not true. And given yeah. the last thing that reacted like this, we need to hasten the process lest he lashes out and does more damage than what we think it, he could possibly do. As I listen to this, I'm just glaring at the dragon. And I just scoff again and just call it a mindless primitive. Doesn't know the true meaning of power and where it comes from. After you say that, Vaughn begins to let out a volley of void shots faster than he had been faster than he he had previously been able to to before all of them aimed at Osiris's phoenix form and they all make contact with Osiris's Phoenix state as she amidst all of the pain from the scales and the curse upon her shrug it off as best as she can as she still still continues to charge her final attack I think I know a way to give her more power what if I return her feathers That would increase the power of her Limit Break attack, yes. By an extreme margin, even. Well, since she asked so nicely for the feathers back... She never did. <laughs> uh... Alright. Uh, it's my turn, so I'm gonna make my way over there. Uh, I'm not gonna burn myself if I make contact with the Phoenix, right? Not this time. So, I hop on the Phoenix's back. And I, and I tell Cyrus, Par pardon me, but I think this will help. As I stick the feathers on her back. 
All right. You re-implants her feathers within her as the flames that she is charging go brighter and brighter and brighter and hotter and hotter, though you are not feeling any form of pain as you have added a substantial amount of power uh, not only back to her body, but into her limit break. How many, uh, how many of the fetters did I have? Let me double check. Uh, I think, uh... What were they called? Mega Phoenix Downs? Yes. Yeah, I'm sticking all five on her back. All five that I stole from her. <laughs> All right. I made the adjustments and you will see them when her next turn comes back around. All right, so. There's literally nothing we could do for Osiris, so we might as well grant her wish and let her go out all out. Here, let's give her a hand. Ooh, poor bastard. Kind of shred his armor. How much damage am I doing to him with those four shots? You are doing... Three thousand... Wait, I gotta take into account his reduced defense. You were dealing 2,470. That... That... Sh should... Give me... My limit break energy back... To 800. Yeah, it doesn't let me in! Kevin... Fuck's sake, I gave her the password upstairs! No, it's something else. Give me a second, guys. Okay. Mm -hmm. Jeez, everybody. For a simple password, they all want to come into my room. I don't know what to do for my last action. Huh? You still got... Actually... Let me just do this. Can y'all see the allies page now? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's all there. Had to refresh. Attributes. Oh! Okay. 
Wait, what? What are we supposed to be looking for? Well, where's Regis? Since since the battle is nearly over, I figured I'd let you guys see the exact list of stuff you could have been choosing from. Oh, you're right. I was looking at Jets and then you went and click Regis's. Okay. Air crash level three. That air crash and the uh, additional defense down, you've dealt 31 damage. Just 31, funny. <laughs> <laughs> Three limit break energy. Now being on Cyrus's turn again, she commands everyone in the room to take a step back, save for uh, Francesca, who she addresses as Ixion, to assist her with her final strike, and she also asks for the assistance of Frida to assist her as well. As they both begin channeling their attacks, if you want to hop in, you can. Can I hop in with my idol on form? If you want to. Fuck yeah, let's do it. All out. Hey, hop in with Diablo. If you want to. Sounds good. And if you two are doing that, just so that Dreva. Ouch! Isn't left out of the fun on her own terms. And she is going to activate her burst form and call up Garland for, for just a little bit of extra backup. As he. Oh, wait, this is the first time Garland's seen me in this form. As Garland bursts forth with a. The very mighty and a very hearty laugh as he too is ready to engage in whatever battle is before him as he takes looks upon his surroundings and although you cannot see it you are very much able to tell that Garland is grinning from ear to ear underneath his helmet. Now this is what you call a party where I come from. Uh, Can I scream out for Odin's help? <laughs> uh, give me just a moment. Uh, no. <laughs> right, move this. Place this token here. Oh, I can't move the idol on. Yeah, you can. No. There. There you go. Okay. How is it that you wish to summon forth Odin? I want to scream out for assistance. 
for my friend Odin to come. All right. <clears throat> you. You clutch the crystal that contains Odin to your chest and you say whatever comes to your mind asking them for their assistance and then it feels like for a very brief moment that time itself just stops around everyone but you and then you hear the faintest of whispers calling out to you. Sorry. It seems as if the situation is regrettably much worse than I had. Expecting things to get. The one who summoned me forth. Do you swear to me? To use my power for justice and justice alone. And it's like, hell yeah. The crystal that is held to your chest, clutch it, and raise it aloft. And when you do that, you raise a crystal as high as possible, and then as you feel the flow of time continue around you you but for a brief moment feel the wind whistle in your ear you hear the slicing of a blade upon the wind and you also notice that everyone and everything in the room, Vaughn and Osiris included. Turn their attention behind you. As you can see, there's present for everyone to see. A dimensional tear take place behind you. And you hear Ixian, Ifrida, Garland, and Diablos all say in perfect unison well I'll be damned he actually got Odin to care about something and after you hear them all say that you see a flash of steel take place a flash so bright that you are automatically compelled to shield your eyes. And when you open your eyes again, you see Odin on the other side of the battlefield, blade in hand, coated in energy, his horde slate near, letting out the mightiest of nays. And you hear him declare by my blade and my blade alone justice will take place that Henry you now have the capacity to summon Odin the same way 
Yashua can summon a Frida. And after this battle, I will give you a detailed list of what Odin is capable of. But in this moment in time, right now, know that he is capable of Zantetsuken and Omni Slash. Fuck, Omni Slash. Holy shit, Omni Slash. And at this moment in time, you know that the being that has freshly entered the fray is Odin, but you cannot entirely make out their form just yet. And they, they appear to be very, very hazy, almost as, as if you can see right through him and Sleipnir, his steed. But you know... You know, without a doubt, that's him. And so, with that established, Osiris says to herself mentally, that she wasn't expecting to see in any of her potential lifetimes the Esper known as Odin reveal themselves before her as legend has it that Odin only reveals themselves to those that they deem worth dedicating their cause to and if they are summoned in this particular moment Odin has decided to lend his efforts towards everyone's mutual cause Henry just turns to Osiris and says well he needs to get justice for hurting you Osiris, both human and phoenix form, look at you before turning their gaze back to Vaughn. And she, in a burst of emotion, the flames around her body swell even larger, grander, and brighter as she puts forth her all with the assistance of everyone present in the room to permanently remove Vaughn from the picture, from this dimension. She is giving everything to complete and utter eradication of this demon. And now, I will have all of you perform your limit breaks. As I will have Ifrida, Francesca, and Garland perform their own attacks. Oh, I really have to input that Diablo Flare attack. <laughs> I'll do I'll do Garland's thing first. Where was my limit break implemented at? You have Diablo's uh, flare, right, Riku? I do indeed. Let me copy paste that for you real quick. Should just have it inputted myself so I could do it. Just call it Diablo's limit break flare. Alright. Uh I'll I'll DM it to you real quick. 
Wait, do I not have a limit break? Yeah, you do. Ah. Uh, I think I remember why I haven't implemented it, because I never use it. <laughs> yeah, limit break. You just use the idle on burst mode. Yeah, because for my limit break, I just use the amount of bullets. I'm, it I've only used it once, and that's it. It's flare, right? That's what it's. What? There yeah, it is. Let me attack with work, man. flare if I remember. Pull it down. For the number of bullets you are willing to spend, up to a hundred. Oh, I'm spending all of my bullets. All for of the a hundred. <laughs> so, you see my Eidolon character, right? He has his arms folded, but behind him you see portals opening. And they're just cannons appearing behind these portals. Riku, are you going to choose the Esper form of Odin? Yeah. You'll be able to see it in just a moment. Okay, so what is it? How do I do this? 4D, 100. <laughs> mm -hmm. You can roll that a few more times. How many times? Mm, I'll give you... I'll give you six. Yashua exclaims, usually, I don't like to use this weapon system. Since it, vi it violates all laws against life itself. And but just for you, old dragon, I'm willing to break that law. And when you say that, Garland lets forth his own series of attacks as he screams not so much at the top of his lungs but very loudly there are no laws when it comes to battle my mechanical based friend the laws of battle do not exist on this field not when we're dealing with this Cretan indeed I'm not mechanical though <laughs> You hear him mutter those words. I'm not mechanical, though. And then... Osiris... Osiris releases her... Her now extremely powered up limit break attack with the assistance of not just herself, but everyone's assistance as she asks the moment of desperation for everyone's help. as you see her rush forth in front of everyone 
And then you see her human form pry itself off the ground just from raw determination alone as it runs, or in this case, flies right in front of Vaughn and the human form takes place and leaps above Vaughn as they release the strongest and largest beam of holy flames that you've ever seen in your entire existence. You have never seen anything this colossal before. Almost so to the point where had it not been that you all were so agonizingly high in the air, uh, let's just say that any any living creature in front of the blast would no longer exist. And the more it goes on, the louder and louder and louder you hear both Osiris and her phoenix form shout at the top of her lungs and all you can hear is die 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 leave this plane of existence forever Henry calls out to Odin and screams Omnislav and Odin now in clear view you can make out what what Odin properly looks like. Whoops, wrong thing. He just killed Yasha. <laughs> Hyper Soul. <laughs> you see Odin and Sleipnir take a stance, and you can see Sleipnir mimicking an action of which they are kneeling down and preparing to lunge forth with an extreme burst of power and then you see Odin vanish and then you see Sleipnir summon forth a blade of their own as you see one copy of Odin and then two and then three and then you see 12 copies of Odin, all surrounding Vaughn, giving him no form, no, no quarter of escape. And just before Odin properly begins tearing Vaughn asunder, three of those copies fly over and grab Dreva, Henry, and Yashua, and grant you all your own special blade of ether to join in on this assault. Let's go. Best all out attack. <laughs> it's time for an all out attack. And the first clone, the first copy strikes, and then the next, and then the next. And then one by one by one, Holy crap. they all tear this thing apart up until it's only you three left. Vaughn is on his final, final breaths. How is it that you wish to end this? Can I just snap his head off? <laughs> in Diabolus form? He's bigger than you. The three of us should just blow a hole in his chest. Actually, I want his arm. I need a replacement hand, so I'm taking his. <laughs> okay, Godric. Right, so how are you claiming his arm?
Fine, you could take his arm. I'm gonna take his head. No, no, I want his arm. I need an arm. <laughs> How are you cutting his arm off? I'm blasting his elbow completely off with Diablos' flare attack. He doesn't need arm. Right. Not where he's going. Okay, let's say that you cast Diablos's special flare attack, and as the dark violet beam of energy is spewing forth from you, you you take the blade of ether. That was bestowed upon you by Odin, and you throw it into the beam itself like a saw blade. All right, Yashua, how are you using your last action against Vaughn? I was thinking of taking his head, but instead, I want a dragon heart. <laughs> All right, how are you gonna go so about doing that? So, since I'm in my Eidolon form, I have an enormous arsenal. So, I'm going to utilize a little trick that I learned in high school, and I fell in love with it ever since playing that video game. Zandatsu. You, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? So... You in your Eidolon form tear I use tear, Goliath. Tear open I use Goliath for this. Okay. You So I use Goliath for this. And since I'm on my Eidol in, in the Eidolon form, Goliath has a more mechanical form. So think of it as a a blood red blade that's vibrating. Alright. And I just carve an X with my right blade, and I plunge my arm in with my left, and I pull as hard as I can to tear his heart out. Right. Just like right into with arm strong. That's what I knew you was going for. My man. And with... Well, I almost said Shinryu. With Vaughn's heart in your hand, and with it still kind of being attached to his body, because, you know, the internal veins. organs and all that stuff, Draver takes that opportunity to share an exchange with Garland as the two of them dash forth and slice the remaining cords to pieces and she throws the ether blade into the sky for garland to then catch and before a brief moment we would both swords as he comes crashing down upon Vaughn's head swinging both blades in an x-like manner Style points. And with that, you hear screams of pain, despair, and destruction, internal destruction, coming forth from Vaughn's body as he screams in pain. And the last thing you hear him say before he fades into dust is the power it was mine these 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 rotten no good insignificant insipid creatures harry's like i'm tired of hearing this odin <laughs> silence him and when you say that both Odin and Sleipnir slowly, menacingly, 
make their way over to Vaughn's crumbling body. Odin raises his foot. Sleipnir raises his hoof. And Henry just screams, Justice. And both body parts come crashing down on what remained of Vaughn's head. And the dragon, the looming threat, is now dead. Defeated. And has been taken care of. And with that, the final battle of Arc 3 has been completed. Obviously, oh, that sound. <laughs> Even the ether is not going to take him back. And when the adrenaline rush finally begins to subside you take into account just how much this battle alone has pushed you to your absolute highest limits limits you thought you weren't even capable of but yet as the exhaustion sets in it isn't claiming you the way that it has before as you are maintaining the capacity to stand on your own two feet without assistance from any weapon or person. Henry's at 10% health, right? Yes. <laughs> Henry just is I kneeling said. and is just looking up at Odin and saying thank you. I currently don't feel any fatigue, but once the Eidolon form ends, I'm gonna fucking crash. <laughs> I'm already crashing. <laughs> You give your word of thanks to Odin, and Odin does not verbally respond, but you see both him and Sleipnir nod in unison as they slowly fade out of existence back into his crystalline form, but as a necklace around your neck and a ring on your right index finger good my hand, left hand's the one corrupted that, that was corrupted <laughs> right is better <laughs> the necklace has a spirit of odin residing inside of it and the ring has sleep near can i ride the horse <laughs> not right now oh <laughs> <laughs> he knew so what i was going to do henry just well, starts thinking you see my character put his hands on his head and you see him tilt it sideways like he's about to remove his helmet. And you see like a, an enormous gust of pressurized air and photons just come out of the, the helmet. I will send you an image later of how he looks when he removes his helmet. All right. Henry starts flipping to Frida. And as the Battle High Spirit is coming to an end, you all take notice of the fact that Osiris's Phoenix form is once again fading out of this plane of existence you see the counter above Osiris's head drop to zero as she begins to crumble and fade away into ash as the curse inflicted upon her has taken taken its toll Henry notices it and turns and quickly tries to rush. Doesn't make it. And she, with what little strength she had left, 
feebly request you to stay back, lest the injury inflicted upon you grows worse if you make contact with her. And when you rush over, so does everyone else present in the battle. And Francesca makes her way over as well, only to be upset that things have transpired in this way. And Drava for the first time to your memory begins crying and asking whatever deity she's talking to why things had to transpire in the way that they did. And Osiris, for the first time, has a a genuine smile on her face as she speaks to you. <coughs> come, come now. This isn't how. Safe Look in, in the unfortunate, unfortunate <coughs> the situation of a comrade dying now is there. Isn't supposed to end like this. I muttered to myself. I knew that from the instant that wretched curse was inflicted upon me, that I was not going to see the morning. I knew that if, if I was to make a a final stand, that this this, this would be the opportunity to take that. My only. Regret. The only regret that I've had my entire existence as Phoenix is that I won't be able to see this this new world spring of life forth and bless this dimension with the future hope life peace and all those other positive things you mortal like to cling to and cherish <coughs> Henry whispers to Diablos, is there any way that we could save her? (sighs) 
I told, I told you, you earlier, earlier that unfortunately, there's nothing I can do to save her. We turn her into Esper Crystal. And even that won't do anything. Her soul is, well, as you can see, rapidly eroding and crumbling before you. Even if I was well versed in restorative rituals, I can't do anything. And Alexander can't do anything either. This, unfortunately, How the wheels of faith decided to turn out. And as much as I'd love to give fate a kick in the dick, I can't do that. And when Diabolos finishes responding to you, you take into account that Osiris is beginning to fade away more and more and the last thing that she does is she takes off her hood undoes the clasp on her hair to bring forth an orb an orb of fire that upon close inspection has a few blue embers inside of it and she says use this gift well, as, as the Arbiter of the Phoenix, upon my final and penultimate death, I am to bestow a fraction of my strength onto those that I cherished in my dying moments. Do not allow this to fall into the hands of anyone, anyone. that is unworthy. Igni flies out in tears. Osiris using you can see her mouth move but no words are coming out of it as the erosion process has now began to encompass her and her legs her lower the lower half of her body is now faded into nothingness as she Weakly uses her left arm to give Igni a final pat on the head and she looks to all of you in the room. She smiles one last time. You see a tear roll out of her roll out of her eyes and when it hits the ground you hear a jingle and when Drava picks up that flame tear 
she sees something that she once thought impossible for Osiris to do. And with that, Osiris completely fades away. And that is the end of the session and the end of arc three of this campaign.